Hey all, today I'm going to be talking about the Jackson Cross Seal. I know a lot of students find this concept confusing, so hopefully I'll try and make it simple. Just to make things clear from the start, I'll be discussing seal in minus seal form. So it's minus 2 at 180, not the plus 2 at 180. The way you need to think about your JCC is as having two principal meridians. One marked with a red line, which denotes minus, and the black line, which means you're showing plus. So minus is the one we care more about, it's the one we follow. You'll understand what this means a little later on when we go through some examples. You can also think about red as increasing the astigmatism for the patient, they want more minus, and black as decreasing the astigmatism for the patient, they want less minus. So first things first, we need to follow the steps of subjective refraction. We need to determine our starting point, and that's either by using an autorefractor, which is nice and simple, retinoscopy, especially for the younger children that you can't get behind the autorefractor, or you can do refraction from scratch if you're really keen and go fishing for sill. Once we've chosen our starting point, next you need to determine the best corrected sphere before we move on to the cylinder correction. We'll quickly run through some basics and then we'll get into some real life examples. When we determine the patient's cylinder, remember, always refine the axis and then the power. This is because we can find the correct axis even though we don't have the right power, but not vice versa. Then you'll need to recheck and refine the sphere. So you have to learn that for every 050 change in seal, we need to adjust the sphere by half in the opposite direction. The theory behind this is because we need to place a circle of least confusion on the retina. Finally, repeat the same procedure with the left eye and binocular balance and that subjective refraction over. One last important point before we move on to examples, how do we know which JCC to choose? Well, the answer is simple. Once we've determined the best corrected sphere, we follow this rule of thumb. If we're achieving vision of 6.9, then 0.25 seal is sufficient. If we're achieving vision of 6.12, then we're gonna use an 0.50 cross seal. Anything less than 6.12, then we're gonna need 0.75 because we know there's still a long way until we achieve 6.6. Now that we've learnt the basics, we are going to go through some real life examples, Emily, Josh and Violet. I've had to divide them into separate videos, so click the link above so we can get started.